Hey guys, Persistent Programmer here and welcome to my channel. So today we're going to solve the problem, best time to buy and sell stock. And if you haven't subscribed already, please hit that subscribe button below this video because that helps me create these content for you guys. Awesome. So let's go ahead and get started right away. Okay, I've pulled up the problem statement here again. And uh, to review, what we're looking for is a stock um, that's going to make us the most profit in this historic data set. So if we look here, um, we know that if we buy on the lowest day, which is when the stock price is one, um, we're, we know that that's the best day to buy. So if we agree on that, then that means what we need to do here is find a minimum because the minimum price is the one, is, that's the day to buy your stock. So we can see here that the minimum price here is one. So this is the day we want to purchase. And then the day we sell is the maximum price out of after any day after one, right? So with this new idea, we can think of this problem in a different way. And maybe we don't need to use two nested for loops to solve this problem in a brute force manner. Um, so let's look at an example here. So if I know that this is going to be my minimum, um, what I can do is I can keep a running minimum at each step I'm in. So if I'm at seven, uh, well, that's my running minimum. Um, and then as I keep moving, what I need to do is I need to minus that current minimum from the value I'm at. So let's walk through this so it's very clear. Um, so if I'm at seven and my current minimum is seven, then seven minus seven is zero and that's definitely not the highest profit I can make in this case. But then in the next iteration, if we're just going uh, to follow a normal iteration here, um, the minimum is now set to one, right? So what we can do, and we're also at one. So one minus one is zero, um, but then the minimum stays at one, right? Because we are grabbing the minimum amount that we can find as we're going through the list. So the minimum stays at one. And what happens next is five minus one is four. So the max profit is now going to be set to this, right? So previously it was zero and now it's going to be four. Um, and then we keep going and then it's four and then two. So three minus one is two. So that's not, it's still four um, is the value that is currently stored. And then we reach here, which is six, day six. This is the day we want to sell, um, which is going to give us the highest profit. And six minus one is five. So uh -huh, this is when we update our profit, uh, our max profit variable to say, hey, this is the answer. Um, update this. Well, yeah, there's one more um, value left. And then we go to the last value and that's three. So our max profit doesn't update anymore. Okay, so let's go ahead and look at the code for this and then it will become very clear what we're trying to do. Awesome, so I'm back in lead code and I'm going to solve this problem in a single pass. So a O of N solution, um, instead of creating two nested for loops and having a um, O of N square solution. So let's go ahead and get started by declaring our um, min price variable. So this is the variable that is going to be constantly updated. Um, with the minimum price as we walk through each item in the prices list. So I can say min price and we will initialize this to um, infin infinity because uh, we're going to compare it to all the items and take the lowest of the current minimum price and um, the item we're on. So we'll set that to um, inf and now what I'm going to do is also set uh, the max profit. So we can have max profit is going to be zero. And now we can have our for loops. So we can say for um, price in prices. Okay, so for price in prices, what we want to do is update our um, update our min here so we can say min price is going to be 
um, equal to the minimum of um, the current min price and it's going to be it's going to compare it to the current price we're on so for example if it's at seven the min price will be seven but when um, we are at the second position uh, the min price will get updated to one and this is the minimum that's going to stay because then next it's going to compare to five and one is less than five so the min price is going to be maintained holistically in this list um, so we can say min price and uh, the price we're at so we can say price so we're going to compare those two and then we are going to set our max profit so max profit is going to be equal to um, the max value of itself so max prof and it's going to take it we need to do this subtraction here so every value it's at um, in the list it's going to minus the holistic minimum from that number to get the maximum profit that can be obtained from this historic data so we can have max prof and minus um, so we will have price price minus the min price Okay, so it's going to co compare those two and then um, set the max profit to the highest value because we're doing a max here. Okay, so this looks good. Um, and then I'm going to return the max prof. Then, okay, so let's give this a run. Okay, awesome. Accepted and then submit. Yay, awesome success.